Next we're going to have a look at is how to cut the linings. Uh, so we take our facing, we lay it on our forepart. We want to have a look and see that the width through the shoulder here, we want to take up at least a third of our shoulder width with the facing. So come over and make sure that you have enough cloth that's going to cover uh, out to the edge of the lapel. We come down to the pocket position. We want the pocket this or we want the facing to finish about three quarters of an inch forward of our pocket position. So just right about there. And then we have a little bit of fullness here for the chest. So we mark the facing off on the forepart like so. It's showing us where that seam is going to lie. We come up then to our armhole position, find the middle of it. We notch the facing like so to, to indicate where we're going to put our, our plate in for our shoulder. We come down then just below the armhole and above the waist to um, about six inches above the waist and find the location of our in-breast pocket. The in-breast pocket will also sit one inch forward of the seam and then between the two layers. X's indicate wrong side. Now, we set our forepart to one side for a moment. We lay our back down first. Match the centre back seam with the folded edge of the lining. Cut it a half inch short across the bottom. Leave on a half an inch around the back of the neck, across the shoulder, down the side of the armhole, and then allowing a small quarter down the side seam run. Lifting the vent out of the way, adding about a half inch here down to our hem. We then lift the centre back seam and mark that onto our lining up to the waist position. We will machine it here, come out to this edge and machine it off like that all the way up to the top to allow for our, our, our plate right here. Mark an X on the wrong side. Fold it and lift it out of the way. Now take the fore part. This curve here will, will join up with this curve here to maximize the width of our lining. Allow two inches across the top of our shoulder for the plate, for the shoulder plate. Three quarters of an inch at the armhole. Cut it net down the side seam for the side body. And then cut it a half an inch short of the hem like so. Lift the cloth and transfer over the edge of the facing. Lift that out of the way. You want to add three quarters of an inch and that allows for the two seams, the seam of the facing and the seam of the lining. side body up here. Try to bring it up as high as you can. Allow, leave a length here about 21 inches or so for the for the bridle. The top sleeve goes here and then the under sleeve will go here like that. Give it an extra inch across the top, half of the armhole run. Give it about a quarter of an inch down the back here. Cut it, a, cut it up a half an inch shorter on the, on the hem. And then cut it net down the side body run. Now we come to do our sleeves. Give an extra inch around the top. Come down into the Forearm seam, 
Then we cut down the hindarm seam, springing it a little at the top as well. And then cut it about a half inch short. Like so. Put down our hindarm seam. About an inch across the top, about a half inch down and around at the uh, sleeve run, and then cut it down forearm seam. This lining here we'll use for rim breast pockets, and this will become our bridle. 